So hello there. And now we are going to try to solve one problem on that the general case of the forces in a plane. They are not in the concurrent forces. They are not the parallel forces. They are going to be, they are oriented in a different directions. So we have developed a certain equations in the last video. Yeah, we are trying to use the same fundamentals and we try to solve at least one problem to make you to clear those fundamentals, right? These are the series of a, the, the video lectures we are making. So you need the continuation of that part. So then we can see here the problem, the force 3F, the magnitude of the forces 3F, 7F and 5F act simultaneously along the three sides, AB, BC and the CA on a equilateral triangle ABC. So these were three forces, first is the 3F, 7F and 5F are acting at AB, BC and CA on an equilateral triangle. So when you are going to say the equilateral triangle means all sides of the angles are going to be equal. So find the magnitude and the position of the resultant we need to find. The magnitude that means this body is going to be trying to move in one direction that is going to be the direction of the resultant component. That's already we discussed. Then we need to find out the position of the resultant by using the moments we need to find out. So in this case, how we are going to be find out the resultant components? So first we need to find out the resultant component means we must have R is equal to the square root of f of x square plus f of y square we need to take it. Right? So then how could you calculate the fx and fy? Already we do have seen in our the fundamentals. Then individual forces we are going to be resolving to, to into horizontal component as well as the vertical components of the force. Then we are summing up of all these forces then we have calculated. So in this case I am going to be taking the f of x is equal to. So the result that f of x is equal to what the formula we do have already that is going to be fx1 plus fx2 plus fx3 forces. In this case we do have the three forces are there. So in this case can you see this is going to be the point A, B, C. Right? And at A, B is going to be subjected to the, the 3F force is going to be and the same time BC is going to be 7F force is going to be subjecting and 5F force is going to be subjected by CA force. At the same time, this inclination also we do have shown in the 60 degrees, 60 degrees like this because it is the equilateral triangle. So then we need to find out the horizontal component. So can you tell me what is the horizontal component here in this case that I am going to be say this is going to be your AB, this is going to be your BC and this is going to be your CA forces. That means at this point these are going to be acting suppose. So then how would you calculate the fx in this case, fx is equal to ab because this force is going to be moving in the horizontal direction that I am going to be taking the 3f force I am going to be taking and similarly this is going to be bc is going to be making an angle 60 degrees right. So then if you are going to be making this bc that means the force is going to be resolving into the vertical component as well as the horizontal component. So then this body is trying to move towards the left side, this is also making an angle of the uh, 60 degrees. So that I am going to be taking, which direction it is moving from this point towards the left side, then the sign convention is going to be the negative we need to consider. That is going to be minus 7F cos 60 degrees we have to take it. And similarly, the F point at the point, the A, C, A is going to be this side it is making. So then I am resolving this force into the horizontal as well as the vertical. These are going to be moving in this direction. So that means at individual points we are going to be resolving the forces in x as well as the y. So that's going to be minus 5f. It is also making an angle 60 degrees. That's going to be cos 60 degrees we are taking. So then if I'm going to be simplifying this equation, what I'm going to be getting 3f minus 7f into 1 by 2 minus 5f 1 by 2 we are getting. So from this one we will be getting 3f minus 6f force we are going to be getting. Here the 1 by 2 means 3.5, here 1 by 2 means 2.5. So that we are going to be getting the 6 over 10. So then finally that is fx is equal to we are getting minus 3f force we got it. So that means the force is going to be trying to be acting towards the left side from that magnitude again. So once we are calculating fx, then we need to calculate the fy force. Then how could you calculate it? Then again these four forces are going to be resolving into the vertical component. Already we had the horizontal components. So that force we need to calculate the vertical component. That I am going to be saying fy ab plus the force in bc direction, the force in ca direction. 
So then in this case, can you see the AB force is going to be acting at a point B and it is moving in the horizontal. So there is no horizontal component for this part. So this is going to be, you are going to be the zero. So similarly, FBC and FCA, we need to resolve these forces into vertical as well as in the vertically downward direction. So in this case, I'm going to be getting zero and this force is going to be acting vertically upward direction. So then vertical component for this force, the seven F is going to be plus seven F sine 60 degrees. Similarly, this is going to be moving in the downward direction at the point A. So that's going to be minus we are taking because it is moving in the downward direction. The 5F sine 60 we need to take. Once the sine 60 means we need to resolve this force and finally, so sine 60 means root 3 by 2 and here also root 3 by 2. So then we will get the final Fy is equal to, the finally Fy is equal to 1.732 F we will get it. So that means Fy is equal to 1.732 F. Right? This way we are going to be calculating the X component as well as the Y component. It means that we resolve these three forces into the two forces by taking the convenient coordinate system. Once we have calculated it, that's going to be your Fx Fy values that I am going to be substituting in the resultant component R is equal to minus 3F whole square plus 1.732F whole square that's going to be under square root. So then if you simplify this one, the R is equal to, we will get 3.464F forces we will get it. The resultant component we got it. Suppose if I am going to be simplifying this equation, that means this is going to be your x is going to be moving, this is going to be minus 3f force and the vertical force is going to be your 1.732f force is going to be acting. It means that minus is there, that means the component force is going to be acting towards this side. Which force is going to be acting in this direction? Can you see the 7f force? It means that this is the resultant component is also trying to move in the direction of the f. So then the resultant force is going to be in this part. So we don't know exactly where that inclination. So how could you calculate this inclination? So for that inclination, we can calculate with the help of tan theta. So how could you calculate the tan theta? So here by using the tan theta, that is going to be Fy by Fx we are taking. Fy is equal to 1.732F by minus 3F we are going to be taking. So minus is going to be representing the direction towards the left side. I'm not going to remove it. Here. So FF is going to be cancelled. The tan theta is equal to tan inverse of this compound magnitude we are getting. Then finally, that's the theta is equal to we are getting here is the minus 30 degrees. Okay. So that means that body is going to be trying to towards the moving towards the the left side, and that's we have represented over here. So then the theta of the resultant component is equal to minus 30 degrees. Once we are going to be calculating this part, so then we need to find out the position of the, the resultant force. That's we need to take it. See, once we calculated the theta, we need to find out the position of the resultant component. So in this case, what will happen? The theta is going to be minus 30 degrees and R is going to be 3 point. Here is going to be representing the minus. So that means somewhere it is going to be passing towards this side. Suppose, assume, I'm assuming the position in this direction R and this is going to be making an angle of 30 degrees. So then what I'm going to do, I need to take down the moments at any one point of this one, A, B, C, like this. So in this case, what will happen, if I'm going to be taking the moments at B, then what will happen, the force into perpendicular distance for this 3 up is going to be zero. The 7 up also passing to the same point, so that's also going to be zero, so that I can calculate easily remaining. This is going to be the moving at a distance of, uh, the perpendicular distance it is going to be. So then we need to take this part. So once we are going to be identifying this, the length of this force, so then this 5F into suppose A, B, C, D, I'm going to be considering here. So in this case, what, what is that one? A, B, B, D into 5F is going to be your moments. And similarly, I'm going to be considering one, the component or going to be, this is going to be perpendicular. So that point I'm going to be saying, this is going to be the E. So that I'm going to be taking the moments at B is equal to zero. Suppose 
So moments at this point is equal to zero, then we are going to be taking that's going to be the phi f force is going to be in this suppose then we need to find out the sign conventions. The sign convention, this side is going to be the positive, and this side is going to be the anti-clockwise is going to be your negative forces I am going to be considering. So then what, what is the forces we are going to getting? These are passing to the same point. So 3F and 7F, there is no perpendicular distance, that's going to be zero. So then how could you calculate here? And I'm going to be here, this force is going to be trying to move. This force is going to be trying to move. These two forces are going to be making a clockwise direction. So that's I'm going to be taking 5F into BD. This is the perpendicular distance plus R is into, what is the R into? perpendicular distance BE I am going to take. Now we need to calculate it, the BE over here. So then that is equal to 0. So the BD we can calculate here by using the, the equilateral triangle. So here we need to find out the BD. Suppose we are going to be assuming that AB distance I am going to be taking one parameter that is going to be suppose A I am going to be considering. So then what, what is the the BD we are going to be getting. Suppose if I am going to be taking this triangle, this is going to be the your A as well as the B and this is going to be in this direction. So this is going to be your point D, it is making 90 degrees and this is making 60 degrees. So we assumed that the AP length I am going to be taking that as going to be the A, suppose. So then what is the length of this part? So this opposite 60 degrees opposite is going to be your sign I am going to be taking. That is going to be your A sign 60 degrees I am going to be taking. Once if I am going to be getting A sign 60 degrees, so we are going to be substituting in this case. So sign 60 that means the 5F A sign 60 degrees plus R is equal to BE equal to 0. So then BE we need to find out. So we need to find out the BE. So BE is equal to what the formula we do have. That's going to be minus of 5F. A sin 60 means 1 by 2 we are going to be getting. 1 by 2 by R. How much it is going to be? That's going to be R is equal to 3 point. So directly I am writing here. So then the BE distance. That means from this point to this point the perpendicular distance. This is going to be minus 2.5. F into A is the distance. So this is the A divided by R 3.464 meter. Then finally B E is equal to B is equal to we got 1.25 A distance we got it. So this is going to be your B. So this way we are going to be calculating the position. That means the distance of this what is going to be. That's going to be we are getting minus. The minus is going to be indicating only the, the direction of that part. 